Good day, my name is Roggy from Nimbo Crystals, and today what we're looking at is an old piece of poo. But uh, this is not any ordinary piece of poo, it is actually fossilised poo, and the correct word for that is a coprolite. Now I'm just going to handle the, uh, the piece of poo so you can get an idea of, uh, of the size and of the proper appearance of it. A couple of things make this different to an ordinary piece of poo, of course. One is that it's uh, solid, it is now turned into a rock, so completely hard. Uh, something else, I've seen some people when they first come across one of these put it to the nose and take a sniff as though uh, checking to see if there's any odour. Well of course being uh, 100 million years old approximately there is absolutely no odour with this. Uh, this particular coprolite originates from Utah in the United States and it's um, from the Cretaceous period which went from about 90 or 93 hundred million years ago so uh, when I say a hundred million years that is an approximation uh, now a couple of uh, questions that uh, people ask some people say how do we know that this uh, coprolite is the real thing that it's not just any old rock well the answer is coprolites have a characteristic appearance a kind of bubble surface I'll just actually bring it much closer we'll see if uh, We'll see if the camera can just pick up a sort of bubble appearance. And in fact, I'll just show you another coprolite. This one, uh, this time, uh, just here, is an Australian uh, coprolite. They have a slightly different uh, appearance to the uh, the one from the US. Um, different colour, of course. But once again, if you look at it, you'll see this bubble surface that I'm talking about and that is how once you've seen one or two of these you can always recognize a coprolite from then on. Um, there are not uh, too many more things to know about them. Some people ask the question can we tell what kind of animal actually did this poo? And the answer is no we can't. We know that it wasn't a human because there were no humans around 100 million years ago on planet Earth. Uh, the only thing we could do is saw it open and by examining the inside we can tell whether the creature was a vegetarian or a meat eater but as to what kind of creature no it could have been a dinosaur could have been a turtle could be absolutely any kind of reptile or mammal from the cretaceous period so that's it for today we've uh, we've been looking at coprolites and uh, i hope uh, this has been interesting to you thank you bye